term. President Joe Biden just released a statement expressing his love and support for his son Hunter, who was convicted this morning on all three counts at his federal gun trial. Mr. Biden said he accepts, accepts the outcome and will, quote, continue to respect the judicial process as Hunter considers an appeal. The president already said he would not pardon his son, who now faces prison time, for three felony convictions. Fox's Rebecca Castor has more from Wilmington, Delaware. Some protests erupting outside of the courthouse after the verdict was read. Inside, Hunter Biden showed little emotion when that verdict came down, but it appears his family is staying united. Hunter Biden leaving the courthouse hand in hand with his wife Melissa and the First Lady of the United States after becoming the first son of a president to be convicted of a felony. In the end, uh, justice was done here. The verdict came quick with the 12 member panel deliberating for a total of three hours following emotional closing arguments on Monday. This jury and this judge were they were not going to waste any time. Prosecutor Leo Weiss said in his summation that text messages, bank records and quote, personal, ugly, and overwhelming testimony prove Hunter was a drug user when he bought a gun in 2018. But defense attorneys argued there is no way to prove the president's son was actually using drugs during the 11 days he had the gun. The defense tried to sow a seed of doubt in the jury's mind, playing not only to the hometown crowd, but also to the jury's emotions, hoping to tap into their personal experiences with addiction and possibly create sympathy for Hunter. But in the end, it didn't work. When you hear his account of his struggle with drugs, you can't be anything but empathetic. But there was also an unavoidable series of criminal acts in all of this. Hunter Biden now faces up to 25 years in prison, but as a first-time offender, it's unlikely that he'll serve any serious jail time. In Wilmington, Delaware, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.